Hopkins Junior High, we have learned that programs can be rigorous, complicated, but yet engaging and fun. Which one of these is more dense? Which one's less dense? Yeah. Yeah. There you are, you've learned something. And done in relationships with great teachers. You want to fill up about three-fourths of the test. The junior high program is great as far as academics are concerned because we have something for everyone. We do have students that their development is just not quite there where we want them to be and we're able to intervene there and give them the classes that they need. We also have students that are on the excelling side and what we do with them is we use the flex classes. We also have honors classes. So you have to measure each piece of evidence from two places in the room. This staff in our junior high program is known for great teachers. Our junior high's teachers come to teach the junior high kids. They're not here by default because they didn't get a high school job. They want to be in the junior high. They help you to where you can actually get it. They find extra time outside of class and they'll help you whenever you need help. We have excellent relationships with our students. It's really a blast. It's such a positive, energy-filled environment here. One of the features of our program is that we do have a wide range of electives that are possible. And some of them are very interesting and very unique. We've expanded our world language program. We now have three full years of world language available to students. Con una invitación de los maestros. Juntos is a class that is designed for both native speakers and immersion students that already speak, read, and write a good deal of Spanish. Aquí hay más como programas para ayudar a estudiantes. It's important because it gives kids the opportunity to take more challenging classes here at the junior high and prepare them for more rigorous classes when they get to the high school. We really teach the students to learn within the world in which they currently live. One activity that we've done recently is we've incorporated QR codes, which are those little barcode things that you see all over town. They're just scanning those and then they're getting more information on a topic. A website comes up, they find out more information, there's a YouTube about it, it's multimedia. So they're learning how to communicate and collaborate and be creative in a digital space. And I think those are skills that they're going to need when they get into the workplace. I feel like I have a unique vantage point being a teacher and seeing what's going on around me and seeing all my colleagues doing things that I am so impressed by that this is the place where I would want my own children to be. Hopkins is a great district because it allows you to take a chance. If you have a good idea and if you have something that you think is going to help kids, they're going to let you try it. I love everything about Hopkins. It's just great. <laughs> my hope for every single student in this building is that when they walk out of these doors at the end of their ninth grade year, they're going forth with a solid set of knowledge, a solid set of skills, and some really good memories.